hello guys in today's tutorial i'll be showing you guys how to create this map animation that shows the collapse of the soviet union to the present day russia this video was actually inspired by a comment from one of my subscribers that suggested that i recreate a scene from this youtube channel good times and bad times so after going through some of his video i decided to start with this video should we be prepared for the next breakup of russia so i'll be creating this scene where the map shows where the Soviet Union is collapsing into the present day Russia. So without wasting much time, let's get into it. So to link this historical map to our geo layers, what we need to do is go to this historical base map and which I'll be linking in the description below. Copy out the URL, URL from here and go to After Effects, go to the panel menu in the geo layers click on preference scroll down then select this plus button here click on this drop down and select github repo copy and paste your the url here then type in master well i've already done this so there's no need for me to redo it so i'll just delete it just put everything as it is then increase the search result to 10 then click apply for more details on how to use this historical map, I'll be linking the tutorial from Boom Lost Video on he explaining details how you can use this and everything you need to know about this historical map. So once you've done that, the next thing we're going to do is to create a map com. So I'm just going to center this around Russia because we'll be using the Soviet Union for this tutorial, just like the video we just saw. Then I'm going to make the duration 25 seconds. Then click next. Then I'm going to pick the natural edge, click on it again so that we can style it. Then, so for us to change the color of the ocean, I'm going to select this water here, select this, select this blue color and then go select the deep water to change the deeper parts of the ocean, to change the color of the deeper parts of the ocean. I'll click on the same color again and change that. So for the land, I want to remove the background so it's black. So to do this, scroll down to the background and click on it to remove the background, to remove the land, then click apply. Once you've done that, click create to create the outcome. So once, once our map com is done creating, the next thing we're going to do is to search for the particular year we want to pull our historical map for. So because we want to use the USSR and so we'll search for 1960 because at this period, the USSR we are still around so i'm just going to search for 1960 yeah then to bring a bunch of results so what we really need is this word word 1960 geo because from our file here you can see all these years that we can pull from so here's 1960 you have to select each year here you can just pick any year you want it has to be from the file from this particular file here so Click on it to download the future. Then what we need is just USSR. If you click on the drop down, you can see a bunch of other countries here. So to fill, so what we need to do is to filter for USSR. So just search for USSR. Click on it and click on your pen tool to draw the future for USSR. So once once that's drawn, I'm going to remove this second part of the map. Once that's drawn, we'll change the, the color of the background of the solid. So go down, go to your fill and we'll make this red. Just a darker, darker shade of red. So after you've, you've created the, you've drawn the USSR, the next thing you're going to do is to import this crumbling video. So the next thing we're going to do is to import, is to download a, a video of maybe a, a blocks, a bunch of blocks crumbling or fence, bricks or whichever one you want to use. So I downloaded this from iStock and as you can see here, they still, uh, it still has a watermark around it. So normally to use this video, you have to purchase it. Just, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm using, I'm just going to use the is it with the watermark i just downloaded it like that so and i'm just going to trim this video 
to just where the block starts crumbling from then also to where it's the block ended trim like that then click here to bring it down then i'm going to extend our solid layer our background the russian map or the soviet map sorry to where the video ended then the next thing we're going to do is to make this video the same size as our map here so i'm just going to scale this not this one i'm just going to scale this it doesn't have to fit the entire so that's it so once you scaled it to fit the entire soviet map click on this track mat here on this if you can see it click on toggles and switches and select luma mats so once you done that and you push, you see that the map you see that starts crumbling so with this you can make other styles and create a bunch of other maps with this so just to end this we can then select then search for russia and draw russia to bring this up here then move the russia map to just where where the soviet map ended So I'm just going to from this we're going to still change the, the color of the map to red to just like the just like the Soviet map. Change the color. At the beginning of the of the video or the solid sorry, click T to bring up the opacity property. Click on your uh, on your keyframe, then bring it down to zero zero percent then go a few frames forward then bring it back to 100 so now when you play this you see that the soviet union will crumble then animate to where to the soviet union So that's how you can create it. So with this, you can add more styles to it and add a bit of uh, camera, a camera movement, camera animation to make it more realistic and okay. So thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.